Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of One Life with me, Winter Tooth. Today is going to be a jam-packed episode. We are going to build this house. We are going to attempt to finish as many farms as we can. That might be off camera, because those take a long, long time. But after we finished this house, I was doing some exploring, trying to find the materials that we're going to need for this house, uh, trying to stay in the immediate area so it's not far away. But I found a mine shaft just over my shoulders over there. So we're going to go check out a mine shaft as well. But first, I thought I'd start off this episode with a time lapse of us working on this house. Uh, the materials we're going to be using are down in there. And also, I've crafted my first diamond tools. They're literally nothing special. But I got them and we have the materials to make. Uh, enchanting table. So we're eventually going to do that soon, but going to use some wool, some concrete, trying to get me some bones. So I'll keep my finger on the record button in case things start to get a little hairy, but I'm going to attempt to kill some uh, skeletons to get their bones. And then we'll have everything we need to make this, I believe. It was a pretty good night. A little worse for wear. Took some damage. Let's see, do I still got? Nope. Well, I got one on my foot. But, I think I would have died if it wasn't for this guy right here, and this guy right here. They came out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, and killed the dude who was killing me. So, I'm going to give them each a bone, and maybe we can have some friends. Oh, they're hunting. I think they're hunting. Who are you after? <gasps> we got a friend! We got a friend on our first try! Okay, okay, where'd the other one go? There you are. <gasps> yes! Both first tryers? That's amazing. That is amazing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That means we can probably get the more bones more easily. But I think 11 should do it. I think that's going to be plenty. Let's get you guys out of the way of construction. Uh, we're going to have to name them. I think I have a name tag. I think it's in the mine shaft from the spawner that we found and hopefully that mine shaft that we found over there uh, will have another name tag we can use so we're gonna have to give them names so if you guys have any suggestions for names please leave them down in the comments so I know what to name them uh, let's see I need to dye up the, the 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 concrete and then we'll be ready then we'll be able to Ready to jump right into a time lapse. So here we go. Start that time lapse.
was a long time lapse. So you may have noticed I left dirt up there. We are attempting to get grass to spread to all those things before we remove that. Uh, but this episode's already over halfway done. That time lapse was like a third of it so far. So I'm going to just head straight out. Do I have my bucket of water? Yes, I do. I'm going to head straight out to this mine shaft. It's not far. It's I have the coordinates, but after I walked back to home base, I realized how useless the coordinates were because it's basically just a straight line. And you can't see it from here, but it's already in view. <laughs> if that, that doesn't make very much sense, does that? But trust me, it's right here. It's right here. Right there. <laughs> I only lost it a little bit. I know where it's at, I promise. I, I'm just messing with you guys, that's all. Right here. So I found this ravine, I was shearing cheap, and I noticed these guys right there. And I'm like, oh cool, how do I get down there to get them? And then I spotted that out of the corner of my eye. So we have a lot of goals down here. The next couple seconds or minutes of video will probably be a little choppy, jump cutty even. Uh, we need as much string as we can get so I can make an AFK mob farm in the sky. It requires a lot of dispensers, which requires a lot of bows, which requires a lot of webs or string. So I'm going to get down there and if you, if there's a scene where I'm not talking, it's because I'm focusing and it just turned out to be great footage anyway. Got us a couple of endermen. We actually do need those guys. If that witch wasn't after me right now. Oh, I can hardly see it. You guys could probably not see him at all. Hehehe, <laughs> what a fool. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I want those ender pearls. We still want to get to the end, as dangerous as that is for us. Just gonna stare them both down and hope that they come right there. Right there. Hehehe. <laughs> Come on. There's one. <laughs> what we got? What we got? <laughs> Run out of torches. Hey, there's another name tag. We can definitely name both the animals now. I knew you were down here. I just didn't see where you went. You scared the daylights out of me. Oh, hi, creeper. So I think it's worth it to break the spawner because I won't need a farm for that with the mob farm I plan on building. So if I get a clear shot of it, I'm breaking it. There it goes. Perfect. Have to preserve my life. No! No! Oh boy. What's down there? Oh, no! No! My heart! I'm dying! The poison's killing me! Okay, okay. Stupid idea, stupid idea, stupid idea. Oh my goodness! About time we found another one. <gasps> An enchanted golden apple! You guys might not believe this, but I think this might genuinely be the first time I've ever found one in a mine shaft. That's super exciting for me. Yes! Minecart number three! Another name tag, more seeds, this time there's gold. Ooh, all right. And that's how you tackle a mine shaft in, hopefully I get it edited down to just about three minutes. It only took three minutes to do that. We're gonna go home, we're gonna call this an episode. But first, let's see what we got. We got plenty of cobwebs for chimneys, so we can add chimney to the house. We got plenty of string for our project. An enchanted golden apple, a couple of name tags, two uh, plants that we did not have before. So all in all, quite a successful trip. Now, I'm going to get this stuff home. I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and think up some names for the dogs. And I think we're going to call the episode here, guys. Uh... 
be sure to check out the links down below. You can become a Patreon and help support the channel uh, for as little as a dollar a month. And you will get cool rewards. A uh, bunch of different tiers, all that. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitch. I'm going to begin live streaming. Probably not this week, but definitely, definitely soon. So be sure to check me out on Twitch as well. And get this on the ground. That's right. I'll throw my hat on the ground so I can look you in the face. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.